Hello, church family. First Baptist is one of many churches that is facing a lot of change right now. Uh, this pandemic that is all over our globe is causing stress and strife and struggle. But as people of God, we are called to love our neighbors, to care for one another. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We as the church are making some changes. We're making some adjustments. And frankly, we're learning some new ways to be the church, which is something our making the shift process was about to teach us anyway. Perhaps trial by fire before we even start the process is the best way to do it. I sure hope so. I think in this process we will learn a lot. Perhaps this Lent we were meant to give up a little bit more than usual. So I ask you in this, these days where we have had to cancel worship services in person, where we're not meeting together regularly, that we take the time to do church a little bit differently. It won't be like before. We won't be able to come together in one building. So what do we do? Well, friends, I'm happy to say that we already offer online worship experiences. Those will continue. We will be recording our worship for you to watch on our website at first, at our website is fbcmartinsville.com. So go there, click on virtual worship, watch worship services. You'll get a copy of the bulletin you can print off. We'll also be emailing that out to church members who are subscribed to our email list, and we would love for you to continue and worship with us. We'll also begin offering some uh, virtual Bible study opportunities. Those will be starting hopefully next week. Uh, opportunities to study scripture on a conference call. <clears throat> we have recently purchased a Zoom subscription, which means we can all call in or come and join in on our computers. And if you have a webcam, uh, or you can order one from Amazon if you don't, uh, and a microphone. You can join in and see each other's faces, much like we did when we were able to meet in person. We'll also be doing some missions opportunities. These will involve a lot more hands-on work, so this is not for the folks who can't get out at all. But for those who are going to go to the grocery store anyway, perhaps this is an opportunity where we can serve our neighbors who can't get out uh, and pick up their groceries. Our church members and our friends who are in our neighborhoods uh, who can't get out rely on folks to help them during this season. So I hope that we will find those opportunities and uh, offer our hands to be the hands and feet of Christ. I also hope that you will find love and care in these hours and days that we have away from one another physically. Our deacons will be in touch with you. They're going to call each and every person on their care group list and find out how you're doing, find out what we can pray for each other, and also share in different ways that we can minister to one another. I will also be in touch uh, via email regularly. You'll see a lot of communications coming out. So I hope that uh, you will feel loved and appreciated uh, in the way Christ called us to love and appreciate our neighbors. And no matter what happens in these days, I hope that you remember that God is with you. God is with you one-on-one -on -one in your prayers. In the time we spend doing our 40 days of prayer together, in the time we spend apart or together online, God is among us. God is never leaving us nor forsaking us. There is a lot of fear going on right now, but we don't have to be afraid. We need to be prepared. We need to love our neighbors, but we do not need to be afraid. So friends, I hope this message finds you happy and healthy, safe and socially distant from one another physically, and yet very, very socially together in many other ways. I will continue to reach out to you. You are always welcome to reach out to us here at the church. The church office is open. Give us a call, shoot us an email or a text. We would love to catch up with you. All right, friends, love God, love neighbors. This is what we're called to do. Amen.